Today, we're going to be talking about how to correctly put on a lapel microphone. Hi, Taylor here, Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. And to never miss out on a video, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and then click on that bell so you're notified every Friday at 5 p.m. Arizona time that a new video has been posted. For one-to-one -one training or just to support our content, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. So you'll notice I'm currently wearing a lapel mic and you just see that little bit of a microphone. That is a great way to have a lapel mic. It's out there, it's not rustling against any fabrics and it's, it's pointing upwards towards my mouth in order to capture my voice. Too many times though, people will just take a lapel mic They'll clip it on and then have this large string, this large wire attached hanging down. That is not a good look and not what you wanna do. You use videos to create a good first impression and so make sure that your first impression is clean and professional. So first let's talk about the actual pack itself. Too many people will take this pack and slip it into their pocket. However, there's many times where in the middle of the production, it's gonna fall out of your pocket. Not only is that going to be distracting, um, it's just not going to look good when it happens. And what if you're doing a live video? So instead, really utilize this clip on the back. Use the clip in order to clip it to the back of your pants, to clip it uh, onto your belt, to clip it onto your dress, to clip it onto your shirt. Clip it somewhere where it's going to be able to hold on nicely. Now I will say the only pocket that I will put a lapel pack into are the inside jacket pockets of blazers. That is a secure pocket and the only pocket really that I will allow a lapel pack to go into. So once you've secured the lapel pack, what you wanna do is you actually wanna feed the wiring and feed the microphone underneath your shirt and then meet it at the top. and then clip it and then clip it so that way the microphone is pointing upwards now if you are working with someone who does a lot of puckering pops and when they're talking there's has a lot of popping and puckering then it is actually best to flip it and have that microphone pointing slightly downwards away from their mouth. It's going to eliminate some of that puckering sound and that breathiness that you might hear, but still capture a really good sound. Now, in this particular video right now, I'm wearing a collar. You do have another option when you're using a collar, especially if you're not showing the back of the shirt. What you could do, oh, got a little stuck there. <laughs> what you could do if you're not showing the back of the shirt is actually, you know, clip the pack to the back and then have it weave behind the back and then hide it under your collar. So this is gonna look a little messy at the moment because this is definitely better with a buddy system. But basically what you could do is gaff it down behind you and on your back. So that way it just slips there right next to your collar. Many times too, you could maybe get a little bit of tape and actually tape it a little more to the collar to hide it more. We'll be doing a future video about moleskin, which will teach you how to um, really make a nice little cushion for your microphone so you can have it completely underneath your shirt. Uh, it is a technique that works, but to guarantee you're not going to get any rustling and have the best sound, just show the microphone that little bit and make sure that it's not touching the clothes so then that way it's hidden but out enough to get a clean audio. Uh, if you have any questions on this topic, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. And if you need assistance with production, please reach out to us.